Hey YouTube, welcome back to The Brown Gen. On this channel, we show that investing is not just for rich hedge fund managers or people with a financial background. You also don't need to buy any expensive courses, but if you're willing to save, invest, and put in the time to do a bit of research, you too can grow your wealth. In today's video, we continue our tradition of having a weekly stock pick video where I highlight the stocks that I will be looking at in the coming week and provide you with information that will help you when you're making your purchasing decisions. We've made some really good trades in the past. Some examples are picking up MP materials at $28, Sensionics at two, Bionanogenomics at five, and ChargePoint at 22. If you wanna see our previous picks, I put a playlist in the cards above. All right, so you're probably jonesing to get into this week's picks. But before we get to that, if you'd like to learn more about investing and grow your portfolio, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. This way, YouTube knows to send more of my videos your way. I also have an Instagram account where I post updates as well as new video alerts. So if you'd like, hit me up there with a follow at the Brown Gen. With that being said, let's get into today's video. We finally had a decent week in the market, the first in almost a month. Stocks that were selling off massively were finally having some green days. This is why we were picking up stocks at discounts over the last few weeks, and you should aim to flip some of those to free up cash so you can take advantage of further dips in the future. More money is made by buying companies during corrections than at any other time in the market. So aim to keep 30% of your portfolio in cash or cash equivalents whenever possible. That being said, in the next few weeks, hopefully we will continue to see a lot of green, Stimulus finally got approved, and the 10-year Treasury bond rate is at an all-time high without crashing the market. So maybe investors won't take that correlation that seriously anymore. With that being said, let's get into the deals. So I've combined all three tables into one, and I'm being even more critical with my picks this week, since there has now been a lot of recovery already realized in many of the stocks I mentioned last week. These are the six tickers that I think you should be looking at this week. The ones that are highlighted in green are the ones that I'd look to start a position in at the current price. And for full transparency, I own everything on this list except for A1, and I plan on picking it up if it falls into my buy zone. So A1 is an SPAC that announced on February 24th that it will be bringing Mark Forge public in a $2.1 billion blank check deal. Mark Forge is a 3D printing company that enables manufacturers to print parts at the point of need. The most recent pandemic has highlighted issues with our global supply chain, and 3D printing companies can really fill in this need for us. APXT is another SPAC that is bringing APOINT public, which is the largest independent software vendor that allows the migration, management, and protection of data in Microsoft 365. I will likely be making a deep dive video on this company very soon. This ticker has highs of $17.90, and the floor on this is $10. I will be selling this and the previous SPAC right before the merger. CHPT, or ChargePoint, was an SPAC but recently went public through the help of Switchback Energy, ticker SBE. I would cover this in detail, but I just released a video covering the entire company in depth on Saturday, so I will put that video in the cards for you to watch. ChargePoint will be a mainstay of my investment portfolio unless something significant changes in the EV market. NIO is an EV company from China that is revolutionizing the space with their subscription services. Currently, they have a battery as a service program and they have plans to have an autonomous driving subscription in the future. It is widely considered to be the Tesla of China and it's backed up by the Chinese government. It was around $66 prior to the big market correction and dropped all the way to $31. Due to NIO's crazy volatility, I would wait to pick it up below $40 if that happens this week. Now NEO is a long-term hold for me. Just like APXT, stay tuned for an in-depth video on this company. SFTW is the third SPAC on this list and it is bringing Black Sky to the public, which is a disruptive company that removes the barriers to entry that have been present in the utilization of satellite imagery. I'm really simplifying it here, but basically they use imagery to come up with strategic and timely insights. They also develop and launch small satellites into space for much cheaper than their legacy competition. And finally, the last stock on this list is Zometica Pharmaceuticals, a stock that is making the rounds on YouTube, StockTwits, and Reddit. They have a huge anticipated launch coming up this month with their true former platform. They also did a very strategic retiring of their preferred shares, which tells me that they are really betting on their long-term growth. This is a company that I plan on selling half my investment at $5 and letting the rest ride. Now, I made a recent update video on this company, as well as a full deep dive, so I'll include both of those in the end screen. Each one of these tickers has been chosen based on my experience, my knowledge, as well as the potential that I see in them. And with that, this about wraps it up for today's video. Remember, you should always do your own due diligence before pressing the buy buttons. My goals with this video and others is just to cut down your research time, not replace it. Remember, I am not a financial advisor either, and this is for entertainment purposes only. 
That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you've been buying since the correction and what stocks you're looking at this coming week. And as always, if you wanna learn how to invest or grow your portfolio, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.